Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see how the person that is on your mind when it comes to love truly feels about you currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign. So feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right. So I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for this person's true feelings for you currently, we have new perspective, player, we also have the queen of pentacles, and we have the sign card here. All right, so when it comes to this person's true feelings for you currently, they feel as though you see them as someone that is a player, someone that likes to play the field, or someone that is not ready to settle down. For some of you, they feel as though you see them as a time waster, okay? And this person is wanting you to see them from a different perspective. Now, they may even want to show you a different side of themselves. They want to prove to you or show you that they're able to be loyal. They're able to bring um, stability, okay? I feel as though you view this person as very childish or very immature, but this person wants you to see them as someone that is capable of being in a commitment. For some of you, I feel as though you're no longer optimistic about this connection. I feel as though you're viewing this person from a very logical standpoint and it's caused a lot of you to just see things for what they are or to see this person for who they really are. Hmm. But yeah, someone wants you to view them in a different light. This person is also worried that you may have other options that you are possibly seeing behind their back or without them knowing. And this shatters this person's heart. So they're feeling some type of way because they feel like you may be making moves toward other options and they don't want that to happen. And they're thinking about that a lot. So yeah, for a lot of you, they feel as though you're moving in silence, that you are not showing them your hand, that you have some things going on behind the scenes, and that may or may not be true. So yeah, when it comes to this person, they're reminiscing about you. Also, this person's a little delusional a little bit. How can I put this? This person sold you a dream, okay? This person sold you a dream and it's almost like they started to believe their own lies in regards to the past. Hmm. I feel like this person made themselves appear better than what they were. And they did this by coming off as very disciplined, very controlled, someone that knew what they wanted. They do see you as someone that they want to marry or spend the rest of their life with. This person, they view you as a blessing. They do feel as though you are their soulmate and they are wanting to make things right here. But I feel as though for a lot of you, you have made a final judgment call, call in regards to how you view this person. Hmm. For some of you, this is someone that you definitely may have let take the lead in the past at least. And what I mean by that is for some of you, I feel like you may have let this person take charge of the relationship. Um, and I hope you guys don't take this the wrong way. But I just feel like you let this person lead you in some way, shape or form. Now, if it's not that, I feel as though the two of you were very attracted to one another when you first connected. This person is wanting things to be the way that they used to be when the two of you first got together. I feel like when they were younger, they may have been known as someone that was very attractive, someone that was always getting who they wanted. I feel like this person, they may have had like a lot of relationships. They may have been very promiscuous or someone that has a lot of sex partners. They definitely talk to a lot of different people, but I feel like this person is a liar. I feel like they would lie to other people too. They tried to make themselves appear better than what they were. They may have even done this in regards to their money, their career. So you're not the only person that this person that's on your mind has sold a dream to. 
they're also stressed out and worried. I feel as though this person is worried about finances for some reason or a career. They're also worried about how people view them. For some of you, they're worried about their looks or their appearance. They feel as though they are going downhill. Like their looks are not what they used to be. They may even feel like they're aging too fast. For some of you, if you've been in communication with this person, at least within the past seven months, this person is thinking a lot about something that you said to them and they're stressing about it. Like I feel as though every now and then they think about it, especially at night and it bothers this person. For some of you, if you walked away from them or even if they walked away from you, I feel as though they thought that they would find better than you and they didn't. Some of you have been holding back from this person. For others of you, if you haven't been holding back from them, I do feel as though this person wants to give you an offer, an offer of a relationship, but they are holding back from doing so. Hmm. Spirit is urging you to remain strong. For some of you, if you were to give in to this person, they're going to keep putting you through the same cycle. Some of you have a little bit of a soft spot for this person. I don't want to call it a weak spot, but you have a soft spot for them. Also, um, there's going to be a major change coming up for this person because there's something about the law watching them. This person is being watched by the law. We have the Page of Swords here along with the Justice card. And right beside that is Judgment. Eh, somebody, it looks like somebody's going to get locked up. I don't know if this person is doing something illegal. For some of you, if they're involved with another lover, it could be where that other lover gets them in trouble in some way, shape, or form. If it's not that, this person could be into something illegal or they're going to break the law and they're going to get caught doing so. But if you know this person is into illegal activity, the law is watching them very closely or someone has given law enforcement information about this person. Hmm. Spirit also wants you to apply the lessons that you've learned Okay, especially in regards to the decisions that you make in the future, make sure that you don't keep making the same mistakes. Because at this point, I feel as though with this person, a lot of you have learned the lessons. And so dealing with this person would just keep you in a repetitive cycle because you've learned the lessons. So at this point, it's redundant. Being with this person would be redundant. But yeah, the law is watching this person. I don't know if they're going to get caught breaking the law or if there's something that they're doing where law enforcement is watching them. But I see the law paying close attention to this person. And for some of you, I'm telling you, someone's telling on this person. Someone's going to Someone's going to put information in the hands of the law. Or it'll be the law catching this person themselves. It's going to be different for everyone, okay? That could be something as simple as breaking, um, breaking the law, like a traffic citation. It could be deeper than that. But I see some illegal activity here, and this person's going to end up paying for it. All right, so let's see what else comes out. Give me more messages, please, Holy Spirit, when it comes to this person. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. Right, so let's see what else comes out. Longing. So this person is missing you. They feel empty without you. So they feel as though a piece of them is missing. Okay, they feel a void. Hmm. So someone feels as though they have lost their other half or they're losing their other half. Give me more. How does this person truly feel about my viewers currently? Thank you. So we have love, hate. That card has come out quite a few times. 
So this person, um, they have a love-hate relationship with you, okay? I feel as though for some of you, with under pressure being at the bottom of the deck, I feel as though for some of you, this person is hating the fact that you have saw them for who they really are. They may also hate the fact that you're choosing not to settle. Because I feel like this person wants you to accept the minimum. They don't want to reciprocate your energy. They don't want to reciprocate your um, effort that you put into the connection. I feel like this is someone that just likes to dominate. They like to be in control. They like for things to go their way. Okay. Give me more. How does this person truly feel about my viewers currently when it comes to love? All right. So we have revealing. That card came out crossing. So this is all about someone expressing their mind, expressing how they feel. Okay. So this person, they're not, they have a blockage. It may be like a, a blockage of the throat chakra. This person does not feel comfortable telling you um, certain things, especially when it comes to how they feel about you or what they're thinking. For some of you, they feel as though you've grown distant. They feel as though you're putting distance between the two of you and they don't want to let you know how they truly feel about it. Hmm. For some of you, they know that there's something that they need to reveal to you, but they don't, they don't want to as of yet, or they don't feel comfortable enough to do so. But I feel as though it's in regards to something that they're thinking about when it comes to the connection between the two of you, or when it comes to having a relationship with you. Give me more. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? Thank you. So we have true love. That may be what they're not revealing. This person feels as though you are their true love. Okay. I feel like this person has a love-hate relationship with themselves as well. Because for some of you, this true love card is all about waiting for the love of your life to come in. And so this person feels as though they met the love of their life and they dropped the ball. So I feel as though they, they have a love-hate relationship with themselves because they didn't take advantage of the opportunity that they had with you when they had the chance. Someone feels as though they fumbled the ball. So they were waiting to meet someone like you. And when you came into their life, they didn't know what to do with you or they didn't handle you properly. Give me one more card to end this reading. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? Thank you. So we have healing. So this person wants to heal the connection. Okay. Also, this person, I feel like they've been avoiding doing the healing work that they need to do. And so for a lot of you, they're not going to be able to offer you anything solid until they heal some parts of themselves. Main woman is at the top of the deck. So for some of you, it could be mommy issues, daddy issues that need to be healed. Or they may feel as though someone didn't love them, like a parental figure or a guardian. And so they have a hard time showing love to others. This person may not even know how to love properly. They may not even know what love truly is. So until this person heals, I feel as though they won't be able to offer you or anyone else anything solid. That's sad. That is sad. Hmm. And I feel like one reason why they don't really want to look within to heal, I feel like it's too painful. Because if you notice this rose is, it's in water. So I feel like it's just too painful for this person. But until they heal those parts of themselves, they're going to always put people through a vicious cycle. Not just you, but other people. I just feel like they have a very toxic way of loving. Hmm. All right, so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe.
Until next time, bye.